actually hit me. Tough. Oh my god! I, hey, I was, I was, I was whooping ass, and then I wasn't whooping ass. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to wake you up. Damn. Let's get right. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to it, boys. Welcome back to Spider-Man 2. We don't have to fight about this. Of course we do. Had to get that one. Now that's how you whoop some ass to start the video. It's crystal. If you didn't see part one, I need you to pause the video. Like the goddamn shit though. You know what I'm saying? Go back to the first episodes. You have to see that first video, man. Work. Pure action. In the park. They're tracking us. Marco was really freaked out. Um, whoever was following him is still out there. I'm sticking to the main story as usual, guys. So if your first time here, I don't make y'all sit through too many side quests and stuff like that. Unless we're at the end of the episode and I'm just trying to get y'all a little bit more content. Get used to hearing that voice, man. Dropped you a pin. We really got to do this with the mask on. Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? What you thinking, Miles? This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but. Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. Getting some? How did you? And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I whooped his ass. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? How's school? College? Anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code for my suit. Another load. This is like some side quest stuff. Some collectible. There we go. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid.
Miles, come on, bro. That's cool. Another gate. Can't pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. <sighs> Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. You received the rare tech part. Use your resources to unlock new suits, gadgets, and suit tech. You can boost your combat and traversal capabilities by upgrading suit tech. So like health. Ah. More health. These are other little perks we could put on the suits right here. Damage buffs. More focus. Glad for longer. Okay. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. I was wondering what this place was. Startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was gonna give him a tour, let him decide for himself. All right. <sighs> you know, Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. Damn. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... Got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Chief. I just checked in on Dan and Annie. That data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning. 
journey we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. It's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Little mini game, you know what I'm saying? Yep, you're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow, I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains. Anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. See where this is going. These people cracking me up with these boots. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Yeah, Matt Adidas is so prevalent in the game. Y'all notice? So many people have on Adidas. Adi Das. What are these little things? So much to see here. Where do I even start? Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. I didn't even realize that was him. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Oh, good. I got tired of walking everywhere. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. I know the numbers Welcome to entomology. Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. 
Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help congratulations. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah, Pete, you got all up in that girl face like that. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Good. Give me, give me out of here, man. I'm here for the action, brother. Did you do the XRF analysis? Wow. What kind of headphones is it? Resolution spectrometer. Oh. Do you? I mean, it would get better analysis. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. I forgot really at the heart of this shit. Peter a nerd for real. There's so much to explore. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, to middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the- Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming and... We're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great, now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna move you here and that. And then move you here. And then move you here. Beautiful work, Peter. What do you mean? Uh, the noodle, the noodle has been slightly, ever so slightly applied there. Technology. 
We're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So you so mean to tell me motherfuckers is about to be hungry for at least 12 more years? <laughs> so Commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, you should do need a job. Would it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Look at the Adidas, man. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Swipe. I really think we need more security. Really? For a Save the World nonprofit. <laughs> Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. join me there's so much more that we can do i mean we both know you're the smarter one <laughs> come on let's make my mom and me proud huh it's amazing but there's one thing can i move my desk over there I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one quick thing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. Ain't gonna make it to that damn dinner. It's about to be some bullshit gonna get in the way. Peter, you gotta figure it out. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Okay. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was. I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. I was going faster than I wanted to go. Let's grab this. 
So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna finish this episode, then I'm gonna do a whole bunch of stuff around the map. Once we get back for episode three, we'll be able to just bang out the story. It goes. I'm basically be trying to play this for most of the day. Gotta get ahead of the game, baby. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man, we were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Uh, littering? Come on, man. Finally, we could finish these ones. Seriously, though, where's your boss, Take Lee and Gargan? You criminals? Not far. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all. Don't hurt yourself with that. You miss, bitch. Stupid ass. He hit me. Watch it. <laughs> Well, well, well. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course. Never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. For actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science decks later. Time to chase. Whoa! Is that a real gun? That actually works? If I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. Hello, bitches! That's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. Oh, I got a... Man, I'm gonna have to get used to the heavy attack shit. You know, 
I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. I'm about to die to the bitch with the swords, bro. I'm not killing him? Yeah, killing really isn't my thing. Free me! Oh my god. Yo, it's I'm so used to going for the dodge. Man, they usually I it's all good. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. Yeah, get her out. There we go. You know, I've got nice. nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. There we go. That was easier. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I want to find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Okay, I don't gotta draw one of them away. something two things this armed group calls themselves hunters and they've got a lot of accents hmm international mercenaries that's what i'm thinking could be front page material for your article i'm writing it up now thanks oh and speaking of work i accepted harry's offer that's fantastic we should celebrate later after you're done with your current work totally talk soon Connection's good. Generators are green. This base is set. Easy now. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. Craven, 
That's their leader? Where did he recruit you? <coughs> Alaska. I tracked poachers with parks, but when I find them, I was harsher than my bosses would have preferred. Idiots. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it? A leave of absence? So I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my place afterwards and waited for him to come for me. But it was crazy <coughs> what he did. Asked me if I wanted to hunt a real game. And here I am. Atta boy. He talking tough. Anyone there? Nap time. That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Okay, which terminal? Here we go. Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Ganky, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Where to now? Yes, it's loaded, so I'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want them hungry. You hungry too? Flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remain it's right here. Secured. Cloaking feels operational. Good. Beetles. Talon drones, ammunition, rations. Mm. I'll have to pay that yardmaster a visit. But otherwise, wait. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich, or well connected, or both. Do it. Fair enough. But I did not expect Craven to care so much about Platt. Oh, I've seen his walker hides a back from the brink of death with what he carries in his pouches. He doesn't restrict himself with the straight jacket of modern medicine. That explains a lot. What do you mean? No man can have strength like his. Not normally. That's what focus gives you. He knows nothing but the hunt. Perhaps if you focus more on yourself instead of others, you could be as strong too. Perhaps. They're almost, almost so. You never told me who you'd bet on outside Volgograd. His name does not deserve to be spoken. I thought his youth would give him the advantage, and he has lived there all his life. Bro, it says safe, then it said danger real fast. Y'all see that? Relax. 
It's your boy. Hear <coughs> me? Easy, easy, easy. Who else we got? We got at least three more bitches. One thing I know is it seems like if you get caught in the stealth sections on other games, more enemies spawn, but I could be, I, I could, it could just be in my head. Knock them out. I did not know that. No, I do. This is the only way. A research lab? Oh, we did these before. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. in the world its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties i tried to get some years ago to counteract scorpion's poison but couldn't afford the flights to riotea guess craven could were they testing their weapons on that armor oh shit and not a single scratch Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. Some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light out in the city? As many as we need to. Craven said they surround him in his dream. But if his dream is accurate, then the fires are fated to happen anyway. Why not wait for them? They will happen on his terms, not fights. Hey, I'm free, bizarre. <coughs> My eyes play tricks. Any more of those? What's wrong with you? Hunter down! Need support! To me! Ah, I've alerted everybody. Need backup now. 
I wonder if there's a way for me. What is that? I knew it. Someone is here. I got me in the bubbles. Oh, party's over now. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! He's here! What? Let's fight! Let's fight about it then. I will get out of this. Hit him. Come on. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh, you get on that? That's crazy. Nice. I didn't even mean to touch that. actually hit me. actually hit me huh oh my god Great. I, I, I was i was i was whooping ass and then i wasn't whooping ass <laughs> i don't know how but i have a little more time to dodge bro apparently not stealth mode again man go back to stealth mode bro do what you do i was doing too much man i was destroying shit i was trying to make stuff land on people i was trolling that's what that trolling shit gets you, brother. You know what I'm saying? I hear you were not impressed by this story. <coughs> it's not that I wasn't impressed. He's a little gas. Relying on less. legends and playing with your prey. It's just not the way I hunt. But I can still appreciate the skill. Speaking of, you take a look at what is in his poison. <coughs> no way Gargan made it himself. Maybe. But I had RPG dudes out and everything, but that shit was crazy, wasn't it? And he surprised me. I noticed that too. You looked that way. Sit across the Navy. Spider Man's here! Damn it! I took too long. other stuff going on over there. You can put that.
throw those RPGs back. Okay. There we go. You ain't got shit, bitch. Shut up. Tell me, I lost my combo at 97 because there was no more enemies. Really use some answers instead of questions. Oh my God, bro! That's promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. Never gonna win best in show with that attitude. Nice doggy kitty robot. They're no joke. Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Damn it, just when I thought it was over. I was wondering when animal control would show up. And then they blow up? Get him.
What were you protecting? Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. This the best you can do. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. See, you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion. And he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? <laughs> Don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. And Felicia's on their list, too. Black Hat? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? 
I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going... Find Lee, Miles. I promise. I've got none of these full What is I'm into MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? All right, this is a good place to stop right here. Make sure y'all like, sub up, and mahala at y'all on part. Goddamn three. Let me wish y'all think of the game so far. Peace.